All right, so we're going to go ahead and start putting this thing together. We've got some of the rubber going in right now in the back. And then we'll start doing our color sanding buff in a minute. We got this thing here assembled here. These mirrors are on. Look at that. That's original. Those latches are original. This is original. Check it out. Original. It's not reproduction stuff. It's original. So pretty wild. This thing had some really cool stuff on it. So check this out. Nice and solid shutting. Door gap's a little off. Like I said, I'm not worried about that little stuff. These things weren't very um, perfect when they were new. Get ready to start putting some of this stuff on. So this is how this works with these D-cord. Um, it's like this here. And what it is, is I think this is the one that is just under a half inch. It's supposed to be on the specs. And it's like three-eighths tall. Because they have one that's just a hair bigger than that. And it's a little bit thicker. And that one doesn't work very good. This one here is really small. Let's see if I can get a good focus here. Focus. Focus. Anyway, it's a D cord. Doesn't look like it's going to work. Um, and here's how it works when we, when we get down. Let me, let me open and shut these doors. Let me let you shoot, look at what it looks like first. Looks like that. It's a little different than the original stuff was. You know, in these channels, like I said, we're kind of beat up, right? And it doesn't go in here. There's not supposed to be anything in there. It goes across there. And then it goes over here. It goes all the way around. It's tight. Still. Yeah, so it goes like that. Alright, so that's how it looks in. Of course, my body work is the best right here, but that's fine. Let's take a look. Okay, so... Let's show you guys how this shuts. Now, I didn't do any trimming. Normally, when you put this kind of rubber in, you buy this stuff from like Wolfsburg West and places like that. You're going to have to trim everything. You have to grind it. You're, you'll be just hours. You'll find out. So, this just goes in. Look at that. Shuts perfect. I didn't do any trimming at all. Just put it in. And it seals really nice. Nice and solid. The seal is really good, and it's, I think it's American made too, this is made, this is from a company called Trimlock in Anaheim, but where you can buy it retail is a place called J&J &J Auto Fab Fabrics in um, Rialto, so I, maybe I'll get the part number for you guys and put it on the YouTube, on the link, so. I'll get that for you. I, I think I've got it right now. Let me, let me see if it's on my receipt. So here's even the price, 10 yards of it. It gives you an extra, probably two feet or three feet. Here's the part number. J&J Auto Fabrics has it. Uh, 10 yards, does that say 10? Yeah, it says 10 over here, right? 30 feet is what it is, it's 10 yards. And it was about 30 bucks. And you can have it delivered to your home. It's the X, X109HT. And here's the place, JJ Auto Fabrics in Rialto, California. There's their address. Josh, there's a little guy I use over there all the time. I've known these people for 35 years. His uh, 
grandfather started the business and uh, I've known him. He's still alive now. It's amazing. He's pretty old, but um, I've known him since he first opened. I was one of their first customers. So, j, &J Auto Fabrics. I'll get you guys all taken care of. Got this in the mail today. Similar to the curtain fabric color that was in these. So we just went with that. I think it'll look pretty cool. I'll see another trick. Fried eggs. If you see this is a little tiny bit thicker than the other stuff that you use. But I've had so many of the ones that you get for this, um, for these fried eggs, that they crack just you know, almost immediately. What I use is this door edge trim. Again, from j and I buy this stuff. It turns out like that. Let's look how it looks on the car. Well, it's actually fallen off because that's not on there yet. And then I'll take silicone, black silicone, and, and do the seam up myself. Once it's on, it stays on. It's just because when it's, you know, it's been sitting here. I put that around the edge. It turns out like that, okay? Again, it's J&J Auto Fabrics in Rialto, California. Been going to these guys for years. Um, here is the part number for that. It's a 132 by 3 8 by 3 16 wide. Here's the part number X1010. By Trimlock. Trimlock's the same company that makes this stuff too. This here stuff here for your Safari windows. Like if you need to replace this, and you want you don't want to pay the price that some of the VW places have. Again, same place. J and J Auto Fabrics has this product in stock, and this replaces the Safari window. I don't have the part number for this at all, but if you're in the area, Southern California. Check them out. They have it there. I said, I've known these people. I've been going to them for 35 years since I was a kid. Maybe even longer than that. Right, real quick. I know I talked about this in another video. Um, these here, you do you do have to do a lot of trim work to. I usually, I would use D-cord on them. But I get these all in one kit from Eddie and Dave's Garage. So like real quick, if you're looking for the best deal on the door kit, which is comes with this, this piece, uh, the felt channels, um, it comes with the door, the rubber around here, it comes with these here. Um, he also gives you these, but um, I think he was out of them when I went there. Because the Wolfsburg's closed right now. I think they're the only ones that sell them. Uh, it gives you the whole thing. Uh, one special price for both doors. A lot of people said, uh, he's usually, uh, I think uh, it's a different price now. So I don't know the exact price. I can't remember what it was. But a lot of people, you got to look very carefully. He's, his price is for both doors. So... When some places have, you know, a price for all the rubber for, oh, it's including also this the divider window, window divider rubber here, and the one right here. Um, his price is for both doors, the whole thing, okay, versus a lot of them show the same price for one door. So you got to remember that, you know, call him, he's got the best price on it. Um, just wanted to put that in the same video for the camper windows and for the uh, side glass. I also get it from Eddie Dave's garage, best price on that stuff. Um, but for this rubber here, for this is the camper window and this is the stuff from generic stuff from, uh, this trim lock again, same company also have this at, um, this is the 132 thickness and by like. It's half inch or three eighths. I can't remember. Um, they have this one, and I think this will work for the camper windows because you only see the very edge of it, so it just won't be gray. Not a big deal to me, especially when I think uh, one window for that stuff is like 
oh, seven or eight dollars maybe versus 20 to 30 for most places for the camper windows. It's a little bit more money when you add up all the windows and you're talking about a lot of money. So that's there. Let's see what these look like on. How about that? Look at that there. We still have to glue this. So I had these things just taped temporarily. And then it's trimmed for every one of these little ribs. You can see you got to trim it. And this is uh, one that's discontinued. I use a different one on the bus now. I think uh, one of the suppliers used to have it, and uh, Eddie had one more of these. So I got this one, and it's not the German one. It's a lot cheaper. It's just kind of odd-shaped up here. It, it flips the opposite direction or something. On my rear hatches, I use this stuff from Trimlock. Look at the shape of it. It works okay. It doesn't seal really perfect, but it does seal. It seals like around, around that edge versus have that little flap that sticks out. And uh, it looks nice. I mean, fills the gap in. I'll show you what I use on the early buses too, since I have one. Again, this side, so you can kind of see what it looks like. They have this at um, uh, j and Auto Fabrics in Rialto, California. On the early bus, unfortunately, um, it's locked right now, but uh, the I use the uh, D-cord on that too. So, Well, that's going to be it for right now on the assembly. We'll come back to this in a little bit. Um, but I wanted to have this stuff in a video for people searching for that. Uh, and this side here, I'm waiting to repaint. I have to repaint this bottom piece that goes from here over to here. We just had a little bit of an issue when we welded it. It kind of warped a little bit, so it made it kind of hard to put in. So we just straighten that out. I'm going to repaint it real quick, and then we'll put it in. And then I'm getting these things here. All the stuff's coming in, like, in another, another day or so. So I'll have all that, and then I'll probably put that on either before or after a color sand and buff. But I'm going to do the color sand and buff video. And I wanted to get these videos off the, off the uh, phone, and then I can move on to the other ones. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe.